What is up, Obscure Mike people? The SM7B will be the death of me. The SM7B makes my wallet feel less free. The SM7B, it mocks and taunts me. The SM7B, I hope $400 is too much and you can see. The SM7B is the farthest dynamic from free. The SM7B, I'll be right back, I gotta pee. Anyways, uh, SM7B, using it on the M-Audio Fast Track 2 uh, that I did the last video on. Moano sent me over something. They sent me over a mic activator. I know, I know, the market is a little flooded with these right now, but if this can be a uh, good insertion <laughs> into that arena, why not know about it? Moano MA100 Mic Activator. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, let's take a look at the Moano activator. Everything comes in this really well-built box. Got some documentation. And a mic activator. And a nice little foam block insert. The activator feels very robust, good weight to it, beautiful, like, sparkle metallic finish. Moano there on the side. Got some feet on the bottom. Extra pad there. Input. Output. Moano on both sides. This thing is heavy, weighty, kind of beautiful. Good build quality from Moano. Now let's test it out. All right, so now we've got the Muano MA100 mic activator box. Really is a nice box. Really, that's what she said. It's a great box. It is. But it's uh, it, it's working well. I've got the volume turned up on the M-Audio Fast Track 2. I will show it to you here. It is... Right here. So it is barely up at all. And I could probably, chances are, can we bottom that out? We can bottom that out and still get uh, gain here. And I can slowly turn that up. And I can slowly turn that up. And then it really starts to kick in halfway to even louder proportions. But we're going to go back down here. So, I mean, it it does work works well the thing with these preamps is a lot of people prefer the inline style not the box style some people i have come to find prefer the box style uh, but moano i think they've made a really good product here it sits on a desk really well with the rubber feet it does not move it does not budge it's got weight it's really it's a really high quality feeling device albeit maybe a little late in the game because interfaces are starting to be really good to where they don't need that boost. But you can still help your noise floor out with one. But Moano, I ask what the price point of this would be. I do not believe it's out yet. The price point uh, seems to be, according to them, between $80 and $90. Between 50 and 60 would have been that, like, you know, still relevant in the Mike Booster game home run. Don't get me wrong. I still would rather buy this over a cloud lifter all day long because those are $150, and I think that's ridiculous. But there are a lot of Mike Boosters on the market now. There's a lot of competition. So this needs to be, I mean, it is really good. But I'm not sure who's going to pay $80 to $90 for the Moano name when they can get the Fed head. So Moano, the only thing I suggest here, I think it's a great device. It works really well. It's quiet as can be, providing plenty of clean gain. The build quality is fantastic. The look of the box is fantastic. Everything's really good here. Just to really drive it home, we need a lower price point. Even if it came down, even if it come in at like $69.99, and you threw out those coupons here and there, 
that would probably be the way to go. But Moano sent this over. I appreciate it. It's a great device. I'm just holding my breath to see what the price is because the market is, I don't think the market needs an $80 to $90 mic booster. Those are a plenty. Uh, the Clark Technic CT1 is that unicorn mic booster that used to be 35 bucks. Uh, now you can get the Polson XD something. I'll link them all. I'll throw links in the description. Uh, that is 49 bucks. Typically, most of them are coming in around that 70 to to $100 range. So to really move these things, you got, you got to be a little more aggressive. So I do suggest that if the manufacturing cost of this allows it, then your your forty nine to fifty nine dollar price point is is going to move some of these units. Eighty ninety, I I don't know, I don't know about that. Don't think it's going to be a very successful product to eighty or ninety. Not that it's not worth it. That's not what I'm talking about here. It's it's that the market is heavy with these devices now. But again, this thing works great. Uh, I appreciate them sending it over. It's a very nice device. It, uh, it feels better. I had the Cathedral Pipes Durham preamp. This feels better than that. It feels more robust, heavier, beefier, uh, better made, should I say. Seriously, man, I wish you could get really good eyes on this. I don't know if you see that shimmery sparkle there, but it, it is really a fantastic looking device. Just price it right and, uh, and, and we'll see a move. So when this comes out on marketplaces, I'll put a link to my Amazon affiliate link there for you. Uh, I don't believe it's out yet. So I'm kind of getting ahead of the game with this one here. We'll see how it compares, you know, price wise to some other things. I mean, not, not every cheap mic booster is a great one. The Clark Technics are pretty good and they're the cheapest that I have seen that are, you know, actually very useful. So We'll just have to wait and see what the actual price point is. When that happens, I'll do a little short saying the price and here's the link. And, you know, it, it's a good one. No qualms. Just price. We'll see. Saturated market right now with the mic boosters. But Moano, thanks for sending it over. Thanks for watching. More videos coming today. This is not the only one. So I'll see you again very soon. Skier Mics, peace out.